Hey everyone, Starlight Plurs, and last Lush video that I left you guys off at was um, finding a golden ticket. Yes. Um, so, I guess I'll go ahead and just let you guys know what happened with a golden ticket. <laughs> uh, so, I went online and I typed in the code, and I'm not an instant winner. So instead, I was entered into um, a random drawing for a $500 Luff, Lush uh, gift card that will be announced in February. So I got an entry, and at least I got a golden ticket. I still think it was really cool, though. It was really exciting to like open up the present, you know, or the gift gift set with you guys on film, and you know, pull out a golden ticket. Which um, you know, I will save this because it's so cool. You know, a Lush golden ticket, yay! So yeah, um, didn't win anything. But I did go back to Lush and purchase some more stuff, of course, because I'm a Lush freak. And um, I'll go ahead and show you guys, like, I guess, like, the repeats or whatever, because some of them is Christmas, and then I have the new stuff. So, that was my phone saying goodbye. My battery's dead. So, um... <laughs> One of the first things that I got was another Melting Snowman bath melt because oh, it smells so good and I've been using these so much. So, let's pick up another one. And then, I can't really see what I'm pulling out of the bag. I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag. Oh, yes. I got another of this bath bomb. I only had one before and so this is my second one. And I really like this bath bomb, but it is the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. Love it. It smells really good. I mixed mine with Pop in the Bath, in case you want a suggestion. And it's the mermaid water without any of the work. So I really, really like that one. Let's see, what else is a repeat? Oh, okay, here's the funny part of this video. So, I got two more gift sets. Just little ones, you know. I don't even remember which ones they were. Oh, wait. <laughs> One of them is um, Brilliant, which has Australian Igloo Sugar Scrub and Snow, uh, snow Globe Soap. And the other one, I think it was Merry and Bright. I'll, I'll open it in just a minute. So anyway, um, let me show you guys Brilliant first. Unless I put it away. Which I didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> so here's the little Igloo. Little Sugar Scrub. I really like Luscious Sugar Scrub, so... I um, you know, I was happy to get a gift set that had that. And then here's a piece of um, Snow Globe Soap, which also another soap that I really liked. I got it last year, used it all up, so I definitely wanted to get... Um, this piece is probably good enough for it last me like the whole year, so I'm not going to get any more of that. I've learned my way, <laughs> actually, of, um, you know, not buying too much of like the Christmas stuff. Although if there is an after, you know, after Christmas sale, I think the only thing that I'm really, really going to buy is Christmas Eve... Golden Wonder Bath Bomb and the Melting Snowman. And that's it. There's really not much else I really want. So, um, the second gift set that I got was um, Merry and Bright. Yes, it was. Merry and Bright. I got another Christmas Eve because you guys know I'm a Christmas Eve <sighs> freak. Love it. And then it has um, Cinders, which I always like Cinders. Cinders is good. So, the funny part about those gift sets is that I got another golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so I have now two golden tickets so I typed in the code for this one same thing I wasn't an instant winner but I was um, basically have two entries now for the $500 um, gift card I think it's gonna be announced in like February or something I don't know the date so yeah two golden tickets so maybe I should get a third one because I gamble and three is like my gambling number maybe I don't know anyway put those away so now let's go on oh yeah and then I got two samples <laughs> which I don't know where they are there right now so anyway let's go on to um, the brand new uh, oh wait I have one repeat I'm sorry I'm just all over the place so the next thing that I got which is a repeat because I'm completely out of mind now and this is the joy of jelly shower jelly which is my favorite favorite shower jelly and it's being discontinued smells good you know, like jelly bowl. it's fun to watch but yeah um, so I got another one so that way I have one to use up for the next year yeah to use it for the next year since it is being discontinued so all right now we can move on to the new products so as everyone knows um, lush has you know a bunch of new products which are on the back of the lush times 
So there's a couple things that I really was not interested in. And then I just now remember that there's something in my bathroom that I really just don't feel like getting right now. So I'll talk about it. But anyway, um, the Rose Bath Bomb. Um, Rose Queen Bath Bomb and the Rose Jam Bubble Room. I really don't care for rose scents. I smelled them at the store. I just, I can't do rose. I, no, I won't get them. And then, what was the other stuff? Oh, I actually got a sample of the, um, Luster over here, um, body powder. It's like a golden-y shimmer body powder. Love the way it makes my skin look, but I really don't like the smell. <laughs> It smells like Lust. I really don't like it. They also have um, this new soap called Lust, ironically. And um, to me, it doesn't smell like the Lust perfume. It actually smells like Godiva, which is not bad, but I don't think I would actually buy the Lust soap. And then the other thing was the Rose Argon Body Conditioner, which I didn't see it there in the store. They didn't receive their shipment yet. So They also have Dirty Soap which uh, smells really good. It's more of like a manly scent, so maybe if you have a boyfriend and you want to like make them into a male Lushy, um, I suggest Dirty Soap. Then they also had um, two massage bars called Peace and Friends with Benefits. Um, I forget which one it is. I think it's Friends with Benefits. It kind of smells like therapy to me. Um, I remember picking it up and it was like, you know, I'm like, that smells familiar, but I think it's Peace that kind of smells like chocolatey. I could be wrong. I'm staring right at the catalog, but um, I don't want to make this video long. But the other one, which I think is Peace, actually smelled pretty good, but I, I don't need it right now. So, now let's go on to the new stuff. So, the first thing is the Phoenix Rising uh, Bubble? No. Bath Bomb. So, yeah. Um, really pretty purple with, like, it's, like, really purple on the bottom. And then there's, like, gold. Just, like, looks like somebody just, like, spackled gold onto it. And there's, I think, like, a little cinnamon stick. But it smells like apple cinnamon. Um, think Fizz Banger. Yeah, it smells really, really good. I haven't used it yet. So that's the first thing. And the next items that I got... Okay. I got the two new um, toner tabs that they have, which now I can't remember the name. Thank God I have the catalog next to me. Let's see what they're called. Uh, Moon and Sun and Dream Steam. But here is what they look like. This is the one that has the lavender little sprigs in it, which would be Dream Steam. And then this is um, Moon and Sun, I said, I think. And it looks like it has little like pieces of rose, but it doesn't smell like rose. They smell good. They don't smell bad. So, um, I love Luscious Toner Tabs from the regular line, so I cannot wait to use these. I will probably do a separate review just on these, um, because that is more, you know, skincare related product that I'm really interested in. And then, the last two things that I got were the Bubble Runes, which looks so cute. And the first one is, so bad with names, uh, Green Bubble Room. It's a really unique name. And it is a green bubble room. And this to me, um, it smells a little bit like Avobath mixed with a uh, grass shower gel. I think it actually smells good. It's almost like piney as well. I think it smells good. I don't know what I'm going to use this with, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Ooh, maybe Geofizz. Ooh, that would go, go, uh, go well with Geofizz and Avobath. So yeah, I'm excited to use those. They're really, like, really uh, soft. I can feel it on my fingers. And then, of course, my favorite one that I think smells so good is the um, Yuzu and Coco Bubble Room. I don't know. But it's the orange one, which uh, smells so good. It almost smells like coconut. Like, ooh, ooh, that's why I like it so much. I don't think it has coconut in it, but... It smells like, 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 I don't know, like summer, like, it smells like coconut to me. Maybe like a coconut and chocolate smell. It smells really good. I, I think I'm really going to like this one. And, um, I got two samples of stuff that I actually already have used. <laughs> um, 
One is Dream Cream, which, uh, uh, it's okay. And then the other one is Ocean Salt, which I, you know, anytime, like, I get a sample of Ocean Salt, like, I'm happy to get more Ocean Salt because I love Ocean Salt. And then, um, I also got a sample of the item that's in my bathroom that I don't feel like getting, but it is the, um, No, uh, No Drought Dry Shampoo. Um, I like it. That's actually something I probably will go back to buy because, um, it smells good and, uh, you know, I have really dark hair, so I'm, of course, concerned about, like, a white powdery residence in my ha residue in my hair, and that one actually didn't do it. Um, and as far as working as a dry shampoo to really take away, like, you know, if your hair looks a little bit oily, um, it does a really, really good job. I, I like it. I've tried two other dry shampoos. I've tried Suave and Tresemme, and that one by Lush is actually my favorite. So, um, really good product. I got a good size sample, and I probably will go buy that one. So, Lush with your samples. Um, good thinking. Especially with me. But, yeah, that is everything. So, right? Yes. That is everything. So, you know, I was so excited about the, um, the golden tickets, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe I'll get a third one. Maybe I'll win the gift certificate. Who knows? It's always good to be hopeful. But yeah, um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching. Bye.